Hey, what's up, you guys? Today I have our 2022 casual spring capsule wardrobe where I'll be turning 12 different items into 48 different outfit combinations. If this capsule is too casual or revealing, I totally understand. I have a business casual workwear version coming up in the next few weeks, so be sure to come back and check that out. As always, everything mentioned in today's capsule will be down below in the description bar. I love you guys so much, and let's get started. Okay, so let's break down the 12 items in this year's spring capsule. So we're gonna start off with the tops. I've got four different ones. The first one is going to be a very versatile stretch ribbed knit bodysuit. We've got the short sleeves going on with the sweetheart neckline. I feel like this is a very nice like elevated t-shirt. You can dress it down with jeans. You can have it as the base for your suit for the office and the nice seam work in the front gives it extra style points. Top number two is going to be a blouse. It's a square neckline puff sleeve blouse. Wear it like a square neckline with the shoulders covered or you can drape it off for an off the shoulder option. You got this like micro ruffles at the shoulders. You have some nice like draping along the bodice. There's smocking on the back and the cuff, so it's actually very comfortable even though it looks like a tight renaissance looking top. Super fancy, super chic. Then the last two tops are for my warm weather babes out there. Item number three is gonna be a sweater knit ruffled tank top. I love the fact that the ruffle trim is so accentuated. It's 360 from the front to the back. It gives you a really nice unique neckline and the material is so soft thick and stretchy. And then the final top is going to be a linen short sleeve, puff sleeve, front tie crop top. I know this top is not for everyone, but this is the top half of a two piece matching set, which I always like to incorporate in my capsule wardrobes. This one just gives me such vacation vibes. I love that front bow and it provides a really nice focal point at the neckline. Let's go ahead and move on to bottom. So we're gonna start off with the bottom half of that two piece matching set. I have these high waisted wide leg linen trousers. The linen material makes it very casual. It's just got a nice clean high waisted tailor fit. Belt loops to accentuate a nice belt and and then just some nice breezy wide legs. Moving on to item number six, we have a pair of jeans. Because the trousers were like a light blue, I wanted to go darker in this denim jean rinse. So we have a nice medium wash, high-waisted, 90s style slim straight jean. This one has a more full length compared to a crop style that I would normally rock. And I specifically went with a slim straight leg so that there's a nice juxtaposition between this and the wide leg linen pants. Item number seven is gonna be a skirt. This is a Great modest option that's like a midi maxi length. It's got a nice swingy A-line shape. It's double lined, so it feels very substantial for a linen skirt. Love those big tortoiseshell buttons in the front for an accent pop. You've got functional pockets on each side, and then the back of the skirt has an elasticized waistband. So it's really comfortable, nice and modest for a warm weather skirt. And then for item number eight, it's going to be a skirt. It's got this asymmetrical cut in the front. It's of course a skirt, so we have shorts underneath, very fresh, modern and a nice spin on a typical pair of high-waisted spring shorts. Now let's move on to outerwear for this season. I'm going with just classic pieces. I went with a long flowy trench for item number nine. This one is just the typical flowy trench. We got the basic camel color. We got the epaulets at the top, nice wide lapels, long, comfortable shape. One of my favorite pieces of clothing because it's so sophisticated, effortless, chic for the office, great for just everyday life. You will just put on anything and it looks awesome. Then for item number 10, we have a classic denim jacket. I specifically went with this one just because the wash matched really well with the medium washing the jeans. Specifically for creating a capsule, I like to just match the washes as close as possible so they look cohesive and you can get that like full denim suit look if you're combining it together. And then last two items are gonna be the shoes, items 11 and 12. I have a high heeled option. They're nice and airy with this mesh material, but they're just the perfect camel caramel nude color. A nice casual mule will also work for this capsule. And then item number 12 is gonna be my brand new platform vans. The platform is just so leg lengthening and they're just crazy comfortable. I'm obsessed. I've got three different pairs already. And then last but not least, the accessories for today's capsule. If you guys are new to my capsules, I don't include the accessories in the final count, just FYI. I always like to pick two different bags that are different in shape and color. So I have one smaller mini bag and a brown leather finish for kind of like the elegant everyday dressier option. And then I have a medium sized tote bag that's beachy in a 
aesthetic and just a more utility functional bag when I'm actually running around doing errands or kind of like a nice diaper bag. Next, I have this beautiful scarf. I love scarves because they're so multifunctional. You can tie it in your hair, you can tie it on your bag. And this one just has like the perfect mix of colors to tie all the accessories and the clothing together with a pop of color and pattern. It's just a great style weapon. And then last but not least, I have a skinny belt that I threw in here for some of the pants just to break things up and give a nice leather touch to the center of the outfit. So as you can see, all the spring accessories and the shoes, I try to keep it in the same color family that supports the rest of the capsule, but also has like a distinct contrast. So speaking of colors, let's break down the colors in this year's spring capsule. I just wanted to go like soft ethereal and just very minimal. It's just kind of my vibe right now. The basic foundational colors for all my capsules, we always start off with a denim. This year we're going with like a nice medium denim wash. We have warm whites with the cream color in the blouse and also that nice linen material in the midi maxi skirt. And then we have cool bright whites in the sweater tank and the skirt. And then for accent colors, we of course have this gorgeous two-piece matching set in this like light sagey blue green color. It's earthy, it's spring. It's just a nice offshoot to the typical like blushes and pinks I like to rock. And then we also have a nice like caramel warm tan color in the bodysuit that blends really well with the darker brown accessories. And then finally for the only pattern in this year's capsule, I've got that beautiful scarf. I'll link some other options on my blog you guys, but incorporating just like a nice pop of pattern here for my minimalists out there, you get a nice punch without having to commit to like a full pattern in the outfit. All right, so that does it for the 12 items in this year's spring capsule. I'm gonna show you guys how to turn these 12 clothing pieces into these 48 different outfit combinations. Again, everything in today's capsule is down below and also on my blog. I love you guys so, so much and please enjoy. Thank you.